GMP and CBD Industry in Malta. Managing Director of Pharma Consulta from Malta, Andrew Corrieri. So, this is Andrew Corrieri speaking. How are you today? So I would like to start with uh, sharing my screen and I will talk to you about Pharma Consulta and regulatory affairs in Malta. Of pharmacists, medical doctors with experience in European good money and good distribution practice. We have um, taken up positions such as qualified person and um, responsible person, and also pharmacovigilance positions such as EU qualified person for pharmacovigilance, whereby we safeguard the safety of the medicines and of the patients uh, by making sure that the post marketing surveillance is carried out as per European uh, regulations. Like I said, our team is composed of doctors and pharmacists. I put the three main ones up here on the screen just to make a quick introduction. We've got myself, I am the CEO of Pharma Consulta. Um, my colleague, Michael Rossi, he is the senior pharmacist and regulatory affairs consultant. And my other colleague is Dr. Renata Tonka. She is also a regulatory affairs consultant, but with qualifications as a medical doctor and, and specialized in forensic medicines. This gives us a unique advantage because we are all very well versed with a vigilant eye to take care and safeguard the safety of the medicines. I myself started this business back in 2010, where I realized that I understood what regulatory affairs are, is all about. And slowly, slowly, we built up a, a big portfolio and formed Pharma Consulta. Um, slowly, slowly, clients started coming to us when the regulations became more strict and they asked us to help them um, uh, renew or un, uh, start their license again after license revocation of some clients that had problems because they were not compliant with the new regulations. After 10 years now, again, we've done, I can't even count how many inspections. Um, we have now decided to dig into the medical cannabis. In fact, uh, last year we even went to South Africa to um, start auditing a cultivation site. What we do in general, Pharma Consulta, not just regulatory and licensing, but we also do EU market accession. We do audits for all factories, distributors, and now again dig into, into the medical cannabis. We do um, falsified medicine directive decommissioning of products, laboratory testing, clinical trials now, and even logistic consultation because we've got a warehouse whereby we are doing the helping with the logistics of products sens temp um, such as temperature sensitive products and narcotics. Um, with our narcotic license, this also gives us the possibility through our warehouse to be able to move um, a product of cannabis origin because in Europe, cannabis, remember, is, is, is legalized as a medicine product, but is still classified as a narcotic. What have we seen these last years? Legalization of the medical cannabis in many countries in Europe. There is a race for investors to become, to be the first to market. Therefore, many are looking to set up their cultivation sites. Um, the thing is this, it's, there is a gap. We have noticed that there is a gap between the cultivator, which would be an agricultural um, scenario and the medical scenario. So we've got a GMP and a GACP um, bridge, which we, need to, which we need to do. What Pharma Consulta has been doing, we have um, taken on our responsibility to train ourselves in agriculture and be able to offer service to do um, authorization, to give a certification to a cultivation site. And after our audit, we will issue a good agriculture and collection practice certificate so that the cultivator 
would be able to supply his his finish his his raw material cannabis product um, to the uh, pharmaceutical manufacturing site for further processing. How to do this? We will go to the site on site, do a do a full on site visit. We will train the staff. We will build a qualified a a. Um, uh, a quality management system audit. We will train the qualified person. And after we are satisfied, after depends, might take five days, 10 days, depending on how much work needs to be done. If we are satisfied following an audit by ourselves and handing over the findings, and then the qualified person of the site um, satisfies us that he is knowledgeable and the whole um, cultivation site is up to European standard, we will be able to then issue a EU GACP certificate straight from our office. Once that is done, the GACP certificate allows the products, we're talking about the actual leaves and plants of cannabis, to be sent to a manufacturing site for further processing. Having said that, um, the cultivation site, if they have the qualified the, the quality management system in place and the qualified person is up to it, we would and you erect a, a, a competent structure for the processing of the cannabis material, then we'll be able to even apply for an EU GMP certification through one of our national health authorities. This was no easy process. It will take very long, can take up to nine months. However, it is still a possibility that our, our inspectors from Malta will travel to the site, wherever it is in the world, and carry out their own inspection. It will be an EU GMP inspection, following the same process how we did the GACP certification, then they will be um, eligible for a EU GMP license. And therefore they automatically become a cannabis medicine manufacturing. Here's why I explained the GAP certificate, what it does, how you will, what it, what it will do. The GAP certificate allows you to have the product um, grown, cultivated, packed, and then you'll be able to send to an EU GMP site. The UGMP license allows you to produce, to grow extract oils and even produce products for medicinal purposes. So are there any questions? Are there any questions? Okay, so I think we don't have any question now. Thank you so much for your time. And then see you again in the panel discussion. Yes, okay. I can I can speak more if you want, um, but I didn't want to be too boring. Uh, I think you can continue because you have still have like 10 minutes left. Okay then, then okay, okay. then. I'll, okay. I'll go back to the slides. as that for um, narcotic controlled substance, let's say controlled substance, okay? So it's very much like 
prescribing the benzodiazepines and um, those st strong kind painkillers, even the opiates, although the opiates are, are narcotics. So in order to have your product being a, a medicinal product to be classified like that, it has to go EU GMP process and EU GMP has to be from start to finish. So um, in regulatory affairs, I like to say, we need to work backwards. Why work backwards? Because you first have to start with who is your target market and then work backwards to have a product which is suitable and approved for its use. Now, medical cannabis, again, we said medicines. So we're gonna be making medicines here, even though it will still be in the form of a flower. Being a medicine, the UGMP process is, is a very strict one and will have to be done in accordance with the, with the GMP guidelines of the European Medicines Agency. So, it's not enough to have an EU GMP factory with everything in place. The biggest problem we are seeing is with the raw material, with the actual plants. Because the plants, I mean, although it's grown, you know, um, uh, it's an agricultural stage, right? There is a problem because there's a mix up is whether this should be an agricultural product or is the medical product. So what we did at Pharma Consulta, we studied how how the opiates are made, how the cultivation of the poppies are done, and from where the opium comes to make products such as codeine, morphine, and heroin. Heroin is used a lot in palliative care and cancer medicine for pain in the form of, of an infusion, right? So what we did, we realized that um, uh, with a GAP certification, it is enough for the GMP site to accept the product. There has been a lot of talk in Europe that the EU GMP site will only accept GMP produced product. But since the cannabis is a agricultural uh, scenario, then there's no way it can be GMP. Therefore, the GACP, the Good Agriculture and Cultivation Practice Certification is sufficient for the GMP facility to accept the product. Therefore, what Pharma Consulta will do at this point in time is assist all, all medical cannabis growers to get the EU GACP certification. And therefore, they will be able to grow their product and it will be qualified and up to the standards for all, all medicinal factories to accept the product for further processing and make the finished product. That is how Pharma Consulta can help. And I believe um, in Europe, there are very, very few doing GACP certificates. I can only think of three. Um, uh, I know this control union that's doing it, but then again, I mean, we are pharmacists and doctors and therefore this might even offer a further advantage if, if, uh, if customers engage with us for the certification. Okay, so thank you so much for your clarification. So we'll see you again in the group discussion.